Black hair grows, okay? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. If you are old, welcome back. So in this video, I am going to be talking about the pros and cons of having long, natural, thick hair. Now we all love long, thick, natural hair, but we all have pros and cons. And there's pros and cons to anything. I'm gonna start off with pros because we all love pros. I love the versatility of our hair. Like I love that I could wear one style, wear it this way or wear it that way, or you know, just wear it any type of way you want. Like there was Brenda, Letitia, Linda, Felicia, Dawn, LaShawn, like you can wear braids, twists, you can just do it all with your own natural hair. Okay, the other pro, you can just wet your hair and go. Even if it's 4C, you can still wet your hair and go. So like, just all you gotta do is just spray some water in it and you will watch it curl up some and then, you know, that's it, it just go. And most of the time, I'm actually air drying my hair. So like, after I get out the shower or just after I wash my hair, period, sometimes I don't even apply a product in my hair and my hair is still curly so I just go and it dries up of course it shrinks a lot but the pro of that is you don't really have to do much to your natural hair there's not like a certain amount of numbers I'm just naming some pros and some cons the third pro that I have is the longer your hair get the bigger your fro gets so my hair you know of course I all, all of our hair have different stages so when my hair was shorter yeah I had a good fro but it wasn't as big as I wanted to get now now my hair has got longer my fro can actually get really really big so I love the fact that the longer your hair gets the bigger your fro now I'm actually trying to get my hair to get down to waist length so I don't know if I'm gonna be wearing a fro when it get, does get down to that point because it's just gonna I think I'm gonna be hot I'm gonna be drenching the sweat I'm gonna be mad at my own hair. Me and my hair gonna be fighting. Another pro, you get a lot of attention. Like, oh my gosh, like I could literally walk outside with my big fro and you know my big hair and it's just people just stare at you. Some people may take getting a lot of attention as a bad thing, but we all know and even as children we wanted attention, you know? So you do get a lot of attention with having natural hair. Doesn't mean that all attention is good attention because you know, you got those other people, you know, I ain't gonna get all into that. But yeah, you do get a lot of attention with having long natural hair. When you have long natural hair, you don't necessarily necessarily have to wear a weave. You could just rock your own hair, you know? I know when I do wear a weave sometimes, people will be like, oh, you don't need to wear a weave. Your hair is long. Yes, it is long, but I do have, I do love to wear my weave too. Like, I love to change it up. I love to look different, you know? That, that come down with our hair being very versatile. Like, we can wear weave in our hair. We can wear our own hair. We can do anything to our hair that we desire. But I love the fact that I don't have to wear a weave. I can literally wear my own hair and just rock it and just do all kinds of different styles. But I love my weave too, so don't get it twisted. I may come out tomorrow with a video with me applying a lace wig on there, even though it may not look all that great because I'm not professional at that, but I'll try. But yeah, I may pop out with some weave, so yeah, don't get it twisted. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the con. So this con, I, I it kind of, it's okay. It's not really bad, but it just sometimes it gets to me because I constantly, when I'm like going to a beauty supply store or just a regular Walmart or even pumping my gas, I constantly will get stopped asking, the people asking me questions like, you know, what you use on your hair, how long you've been natural. It's okay, like, I don't mind answering the question, but if I'm in a rush, I don't feel like talking to you. I just want to go and pump my gas and go get my groceries and everything. And you over here trying to ask me about my hair. That's why sometimes I have to be careful, I have to be mindful of the hairstyles that I do because like I said in the pros you do get a lot of attention with your hair being out but you know you also have your kind you also get stopped so if I don't feel like getting a lot of attention I am gonna put my hair in a ponytail or just even when I put it in a ponytail 
<laughs> it just sucks, y'all. Like, I'll put my hair in a high puff and I still get styled. So I just probably have to put like that low ponytail with a little bun so they can't really tell how long my hair is. Or I just put like a hoodie on. I don't know. So the other con, like, this is like one of my biggest things, y'all. I hate single strand knots. And I'm pretty sure we all hate single strand knots. Like, I get them and like, I do find myself pulling my hair. I don't know if I'm the only one that does that, but like, I'll feel throughout my hair. And if I feel like, like a knot, I'm going to be pulling it, like right now. I and it got so bad that like if I'm nervous, I'll be pulling out my single strand knots. And like, if I'm bored, I just find myself doing like this and just pulling it, just really finding all of the knots in my hair. Of course, I'm not gonna get all of it, but I find myself doing that a lot. I remember when I first discovered single strand knots because like it was like it was back when I really didn't know nothing much about natural hair, and I just flat out my hair and I just noticed the it wasn't a good flat iron job because I had so many single strand knots. I didn't know what it was. I was confused. I was like, what? I'm like, this is how natural hair is? No, I might go back and have a perm. No, so I found out that it's because, you know, your hair gets dry and it gets brittle. The ends of your hair is the oldest part of your hair. So really, you're supposed to take care of it more, but I neglected that, and that's why I did get a lot of single straight knots. But now that I'm caring for my hair more, I noticed that my single strand knots are getting less and less. Now you do get a lot of single strand knots when you do wash and go, so that's why I'm trying not to go back into doing a whole lot of wash and go. I only do wash and goes when like I'm in a hurry or in a rush. I just don't feel like doing my hair. So wash and goes are really easy, but also it can give you a whole lot of single strand knots. So you'll see me doing twist outs, braid outs, or anything that is stretched. Okay. Some people will walk up to me or they'll be like, "Are you mixed with something? Do you have?" Have anything mixed in you you're not black you know and I'm just like I'm, I'm, I'm I, I, I got I got some melanin in me my mama dark skin my daddy dark skins look everybody does have something mixed in them I'm not gonna just sit there and claim my mixed side when I know that my mom and dad is black, you know. I'm not gonna go all in depth with all of that, but I do know everybody do have something mixed in them. Black hair grows, okay? They think black girls wear a weave or it's a wig and they don't believe that it's really your hair. So the other, the other con is, no, our hair sometimes is not a wig. It's our hair. You know, sometimes I take it, sometimes I do take it as a compliment when they ask, is my hair a wig or weave? I take it as a compliment because that's a good thing because wigs and weave, they look really nice. But don't sit there and be like, well, let me touch in your hair. Let me feel it. Let, 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 me, let me do like this. Let's, I want to test it out to see if you have any tracks in it. What? Why you ain't going to touch my hair? But the last time is laziness. Y'all, I ain't going to lie. If I did do videos, I'd be lazy as hell. I remember before I did YouTube videos, I literally would go a week in the same high puff. I wouldn't do my hair for a whole week. And now that's lazy as hell. I used to neglect my hair, y'all. I used to not put moisturizer in it. I used to not deep condition it. I used to not do anything to my hair, just a high puff. Or if I wore it down, that's it. I didn't really do nothing, which is okay. It's okay to not do your hair all the time. That's okay. And that's the pro of being natural. You don't have to do your hair every day. But yeah, I used to go a whole week with wearing a high puff. My hair would be so dry. I, I, I didn't wear a head scarf sometimes. You know, I didn't comb my hair for like two months and that was a mistake. So you don't want to do that at all. Cause uh, yeah, you will lose more hair than you actually supposed but to. Yeah. Con, laziness, all of that, all of the stuff that I mentioned, I hope you guys got something from it. If you want to see more videos like this, please do give it a thumbs up. If you like this video, please do go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And let me know down in the comment box below if you have any pros and cons that you want to go ahead and let me know. Maybe I can continue this on to another video to talk and discuss about those as well. But yeah, let me know some pros and cons of your natural hair that you like and that you don't like. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And till next time.